our, our armor frost fans well, welcome back to another video guys and guys what we're going to be doing today is i'm going to be showing you guys how to level up your tier to uh myth tier well this video it's, it's going to be showing you guys how to easily level up your tier from the lowest tier all the way up to the highest tier to myth tier and if you guys do enjoy the video, uh, 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 make sure make sure you guys smash 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 the like button below. Hit the, hit the subscribe button if you guys are new to the channel. And if a little bit, it let you guys know whenever I post a video. And as always, guys, if you guys like to follow me on Supercard, oh my God, I am like sweating right now. All right, guys, uh, come on, come on, baby, come on. All right, guys, uh, type just type in uh, Peyton Frost, a lowercase. But remember, if there's a space after my name, you guys won't be able to find me. But, but if it's all one word without a space, then you guys can find me on Supercard. And any time I name all lowercase or all uppercase. It's, it's hot out here. Hey guys, always remember, if you guys want to get a quick shout on my channel, just, just write me on Supercard or you guys can write me on YouTube. But remember, in your YouTube comment, write your Supercard name so it'll be a lot easier to find you guys. It's hot. Alright guys, so let's go and do a couple quick shouts to Outdoor Paul 23 but, yeah, but guys, go check him out on Supercard. He's a fantastic guy, awesome Supercard player, fantastic friend. Here's his cards. I rate perfect 10, dude. Keep it the fantastic work, keep being awesome. And here's the team as well. If you guys had to go check it out. The next one is uh, Lion R. Goated. But, but guys, go check him out on Supercard. He's a fantastic guy, awesome Supercard player, fantastic friend. Here's his cards. I rate perfect 10, dude. Keep it the fantastic work, keep being awesome. And here's the team as well. If you guys had to go check it out. Next one is Bob the Builder. <laughs> Nice name, dude. <laughs> but, guys, but guys, go check him out on Supercard. He, he's, he's a fantastic guy. All Supercard player. Fantastic friend. Here's his cards. I rate Perfect 10, dude. Keep it the fantastic work. Keep being awesome. And here's his team as well. If you guys like to go check it out. Next one is to Roman Reigns. What Was that a bee or a fly? I don't know. But, guys, but guys go check him out on Supercard. He, he's a fantastic guy. All Supercard player. Fantastic friend. Here's his cards. I rate Perfect 10, dude. Keep it the fantastic work. Keep being awesome. And here's his team as well. Be guys had to go check it out. Next one is Amrit. 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 But guys, but guys, go check him out on Supercard. He, he's a fantastic guy. All Supercard player. Fantastic friend. Here's his cards. I rate perfect ten, dude. Keep it the fantastic work. Keep being awesome. And here's his team as well. Be guys had to go check it out. Next one is. Uh, I think that was it. Yeah. But guys, but guys, go check out everybody on Supercard. But guys, go check him out. All right, guys. Um, it didn't take too long. It's kind of hot out right now. I'll, I'll tell you that much. I'm already sweating as it is. It's as I said. I'm and I'm literally just wearing like this shirt here. Like this shirt here is like very thin. So it's like, oh my god, it's like really hot. But guys, um, so here's what we're gonna do. So as you guys know, you guys can have normal cards, and then you can pro them, and then fortify them. Before you can only pro up to like five cards. Now you can pro up to seven cards, so which is really cool. And see, let me show you. See this card? See, look at look at here. See, you have one, two, three, four, five. See, and I think it only works with event cards too. I think, at least at the moment, they might switch it to normal cards later, but we'll see. But all right. So as you guys know, whenever you guys want to pro a card or something, here's what you want to do. First, you want to you want to level up. Here's the level up. You want to play all the you want to do all the level up first. This whole blue bar completely level it up. After that, you want to see see this green bar it matches. Play all the matches, and then level up to 100, and then whenever you have a second one, do the same thing with the second one. Level up full, fully, then play all the matches fully to 100, and then pro it. Whenever you do that, you have the abilities to choose. You can go between Overrun, Assist, Reversal, Inspire, or I think there's also Overrun. But yeah, there's a couple of different abilities. And then um, you can also do Tap to eh, for the equipment cards. You can go from like the lowest one, I think, which is Swarm all the way up to WrestleMania. But uh, I think there's other ones, but I'm not sure. But the highest one at the moment is WrestleMania. But then, then we're going to have the new Myth. We're going to have the new Myth equipment cards come out here soon. So stay tuned for that. And as I said, see the abilities? But I said the abilities are always different. Let me show you, for example. There's the equipment. So let me go here. So as you guys know, you have like this ability. Now you have this equipment card. Now this one's specifically used for like... Uh, for like the RoboCop one. Here's this one, see? You can actually go to the ability stuff, see? Hang on. Oh my god, this is tough. See, you can actually you can I said here here's all the abilities for the first card. The top one's over 5.1 mil for the toughness, and then here's the second one for this one. It's over 10 mil for the toughness. 
So yeah, you can you can keep swapping it and you can keep like shuffling through it until you get the right ability that you want, like the strongest uh, stat power, I guess you could say. And then you can add to the card. And then remember, as you got like whenever you guys pro or fortify it, remember, you guys can literally just pro it up to uh, like see here's like the normal here's like the normal. This is the first one you can do. That's the bronze. The next one's the silver for the second. The third one is the gold. And then after that, as I just showed you guys for the RoboCop, it is the fourth one and then the fifth one i don't know what the colors are i think the fifth one's like a blue or the fourth one's like a blue i'm not sure i said there's different abilities for it and remember the event cards are stronger than the normal cards now see here's any now here's an event card wrestlemania now if you compare it to now i think that's another one but i'm not sure now if you compare it to, that one's doubled up there but now if you compare it to see see how stronger it is for the pro for the event card it's stronger and then whenever you pro whenever you do all that you can come over here to PvP, for example, and if you go to Momentum Slot, you can actually add it to the stat here, see? And here's how strong the stat is for the Myth card, for a Myth Pro, you know what I mean? And that and that's actually, why did I click Swap? I don't know. And that's actually with the Inspire, or the, I think Inspire or Overrun, or Inspire or Overrun, are like the two best abilities. And then you can add the Equipment card. You want to play all 100 matches and play, well, you want to level up fully, then you want to love, then you want to play all the matches. That's what you want to do for that. And then, of course, you can fortify it once, twice, and three. And you can fortify it up to five times for that. Now, for event cards, you can up, you can fortify it up to seven times. As I said, the event cards are stronger than the normal cards. So that's how you can do that, which is really good. And then, of course, if you guys also want to, like, do all the matches and leveling, if you guys don't want to do, like, all that by hand, here's a, here's a little trick you can do. I figured this out the other day, but yeah, if you want to do in-ring stuff, you can, this card is literally just for like leveling up the, uh, the stat level. So you can do that. You can add that there. Now this one is the gym workout. Now this is where you can actually level up matches, but I said one, I said level up, it levels up the matches and then, and then it also levels up, uh, the abilities. But yeah, it's like, it's the stat. So you have the blue bar for level and then the green bar for matches. So that's what it does. So the in ring is for level up and the gym workout is for the matches. So or no wait, no no no. No wait, no 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 wait. No, I I keep getting this mixed up. In ring is for matches and the gym workout is for leveling up. So the green bar goes to the in ring and the gym workout goes to the blue bar. There you go. I get those two confused a lot. I don't know why. And then of course, as you guys know, whenever you guys want to get like I said that's how you can actually get pro that's I said that's what you can do like with like pros and fortifies and stuff like that. And of course, as you guys know, event cards are stronger. Like here's like the Royal Rumble John Cena. It has all five pro there's the gold there's the bronze, there's the silver, there's the gold. And then of course you have the other two, which are the other fortified pieces. So yeah. And I said you can also upgrade the matches too. You can so whenever you pro it or whatever, you don't even have to like whenever you guys want to like Whenever you guys want to fortify your third, whenever you want to add the card to the, what, if you want to like fortify your third card into the, the, to the two cards, you don't have to play all the matches for the, for the pro. You don't have to, if you don't want to. Now for the other two, you do. Now that's how you make it stronger. But if you don't, if you don't play all the matches or level it up, it's going to get like a silver, it's going to get like a silver star. And that means it's not a good card because you didn't play all the matches and stuff. So that means you kind of like rush through it. You know what I mean? It, it, it's kind of like a weaker card compared to like a gold star. You know what I mean? And if you don't even play any matches with it or anything, I don't even think it even shows like the fortify thing because I mean, you have to, you just have to at least level it up. You don't have to like play all the matches. You just have to at least level it up. But I would recommend you playing all the matches and stuff to at least give you like a very strong pro and fortify card. You know what I mean? And uh, remember, whenever you guys do this, remember, you guys can actually get all the event cards. Because remember, event cards are stronger than normal cards, including the myth cards. Now, for example, if you want to get, like, see how stronger it is, see how the normal myth card is weaker than the event myth card. Now, remember, you have the events you can do are, uh, here are the events. You can play uh, Road to Glory, Ring Domination, Giants, of e Giants Unleashed, and War Games. Those are the four main events that you can actually play to get the... Um, the event cards, the myth event cards, including other tier cards. And of course, yeah. And then of course you have uh, Clash of Champions. Is that, yeah. Then you have Clash of Champions, then you have Last Man Standing, and then you have Code Breaker, which gives you even stronger event cards, for example, there. And let me show you. 
Now remember, whenever you guys have your own team, you don't necessarily have to have all myth cards. You can see here, see all the see all these cards. These are at least resume thirty nine. This is what the um, this is like the code breaker, last man standing, um, clash of champions card. These are these cards. These cards are stronger than them. These cards are insane. And then of course you have like the normal pros, of course like that. And then you can have like a normal myth card pro. Here's like the Andy Hartwell pro, which is very big. And of course you can have like a fortify. And then of course your equipment cards come into play as well. You can pro them and you can fortify them. Same thing here. Now, of course, remember, there's different support cards. There's different, I said, then you have like different manager cards. You have different equipment cards. They're all different. But I said, a lot of them, they're stronger than others. But I said, what as I said, see? I said, you can level it up, and then you can also pro it once, not twice, but three. You can pro it up to have five cards in them. Now, later on, they might have it to where you can pro, you can fortify up to seven cards. But that's not the case here. And, of course, some cards actually have more abilities for each one than others. But I said, every card has its own role to play, and that's how you level up your cards. That's where my bar is. Now remember, now let's say, now of course, since I have a normal, since I have a Lita Pro, and then an Indy Harwell Event Card Pro, and then of course, if you have your cards fortified, which will also help, you know? And then of course, as you guys know, that will actually help me. I think if I get like one or two more male, if I get at least maybe one or two more male uh, Myth Pros, I think I'll be there. Or maybe an even a Myth Event Card Pro, then I'll be there. Or even like, maybe even like a Resume 39 Event Pro. So as I said, it, it ba it's based on like the top two tiers, I would say. From resume 39 all the way to myth tier. That is where it goes, you know what I mean? And then of course, you guys can actually like, whenever you guys do all this stuff, like for example, if you guys want to play like all the matches and stuff for cards, just go here to Royal Rumble, male or female, and just add like your cards in that you want to play. Add like one or two cards, but if you want to fortify it, if you don't want to play all the matches, you can just do that, or you can just fortify it by hand, like just level it up completely. You don't have to play all the matches. But if you want to do that, then just add it here to the male or female. You can add up to as many as you want. If you want to just do a pro, I would add in two, and then add all your weaker cards in. But if you want to do a complete fortify, add all five cards in, and then just add all the weaker cards. It's, it's the same trick that works really good, you know what I mean? And if you just want to add like a normal pro, of course, like this, then just add one card in, and then just add all the weak cards. That's it's simple trick. Of course, it's like the simplest way to do it. And that's the best way to level up your cards besides doing the performance chamber. It's you can do the PvP male or female, or you can just do the performance center pretty much. And guys, remember, uh getting the getting every card, it's a lot of work. It's it's tough, but it's fun. I know it's it's not an easy task to do to do, but it is it is fun to do. So you guys know what I mean though? I mean, getting a, getting a event card, you can only get in certain stuff, but there are like other cards. You get, there are battle pass event cards you can get that you can get them in the store and stuff. And of course, you do have like these ones. Now, these event cards, they're kind of like that Trish Stratus one. These are pretty much going to be in the case grab, but they're still technically event cards. They're not as strong as like the Andy Hartwell that I have or like the other event cards you guys saw. It's not like those, but they're still really, really strong. And they'll actually help you out too. You know, and they will help you out a lot, which is really nice. Which, which is that is what I'd like to see. But say, guys, it's all up to you guys of what you guys want to use. Now, remember, you can have your entire team just like filled with just myth, myth pros, and including all your support cards and equipment cards and everything. And then if you add them to the momentum slot, make them stronger. Now, of course, remember, you can have like couple. WrestleMania 39 event cards in there and have like one or two maybe myth pros it helps either way either way you do it and remember no matter what tier you are the same strategy will work even if you're at the lowest tier or even if you're like in the middle tier or the high tier as long as you have like the top like I would say like the top two or the top three tier cards you're fine because the after after the uh, myth card the next one is WrestleMania 39 after that is Royal Rumble 23 those are your top three tiers now, of course, if you want to go with like the, what the lowest tier, it's I think it's like Behemoth or something all the way up, and then it's I don't know where it is in the middle, but yeah. But I said that is how you can do it. You know what I mean? But I said here's like the low, here's like all the tiers and stuff. You have like your lowest point, which is Behemoth, all the way to the top tier, which is Myth tier. Yep. So as you guys know, 
But I said, there's different ways of getting event cards and stuff. I said, remember, each card has their own stats and stuff for like normal cards. And then the event cards are stronger than the normal cards. The, I said, every card has its own role to play. You guys know what I mean? Remember, there's different ways of getting event cards. And if you guys need more help on getting certain cards, go check out my channel. I have videos on how to get myth cards, like myth cards, event cards. I have pretty much any video that you can possibly think of on getting any card that you want, pretty much. But guys, go check them out. They're all on my channel. If you guys need help with anything, go check them out. It's really cool. And guys, I hope this video helps you guys out a little bit. I have a feeling I kind of probably messed up. But as I said, it's pretty much just all basic stuff. It's just about proing, fortifying, level, like it's all about proing, leveling up, uh, fortifying, and all that kind of stuff. Getting the normal cards, getting the event cards, support cards, managers, equipment cards, momentum slots in the PvP. It's a pretty much all that it, that it is. That's how you can level up your card and make your. And that's how you can level up your cards and stuff to make them stronger and get your tier up to the next tier. It's how you rise your tier from the lowest rank to the mid to the little to the mid tier. All the way to the high, well, from the lowest to the highest point, I guess you could say. But that's how you do it. It's super simple and it's really easy to do. Now, of course, remember, right now you can actually level up. You, I said, before, right now you can only do five cards with like the normal card, but later on they should add like seven cards. Now, with the event cards, you can do all the way up to seven, which is very good. So I like that. Remember, guys, play all the events and stuff and just try to just try to get as much cards as you can, you know? You get tier pulls, you can get reset, like. You get battle pass. I mean, there's as much. There's a lot of stuff that you can get, you know. But it's all about super coins, credits, tickets, and rarity picks and draft picks, and pretty much just playing TLC and reward. Pretty much is all about the stuff, you know what I mean? Bye, guys. Um, bye, guys. I hope this helped you guys out a little bit. If you guys need more help, let me know in the comments below, and I hope you guys out as much as I can. But guys, always thank you guys so much for watching. I hope I hope everyone has a fantastic day. I hope everyone's doing good. But guys, always thank you guys so much for all the support. It means a lot to me. And oh, if you guys have enjoyed, make, make sure make sure you guys smash 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 that smash that smash that like button below. Hit hit the subscribe button if you guys are new to the channel, and hit the little button. Let you guys know whenever I post a video. And as always, guys, thank you guys so much for all the support. It means a lot to me, and I'll see everyone. But guys, so I thank you guys so much for all the support. It means a lot, and hope I hope everyone has I hope everyone's having a fantastic day. Hope everyone's doing good. And guys, as always, if you guys need any more help, let me know in the comments below, and I help you guys out as much as I can. But guys, as always, I hope this video helped you guys out a little bit. If it did. Let me know in the comments, but if you guys, if I mess up or if you guys need more help, let me know in the comments and I'll help you guys out as much as I can. But guys, always thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Peace again. Love you.